Having the, the, Clark, the Clark fairing system on here uh, definitely helps me. Uh, riding in the wind does not, but it's okay. Yo, what's up, Duff here? Getting ready to go out on a ride on my V13. I have, uh, my V13 has not been ridden since I put the Clark pad fairing system on. So we're gonna take it out for a ride and we're also gonna do a couple other experiments while we're out there, uh, hopefully before it rains. So if you can see behind me, um, there is definitely gonna be some, pre some precipitation incoming. So I'm gonna have to make this quick. So you can get a look at what the uh, V13 fairing system looks like on the road. Uh, you see Chronicles Flip has the same fairing kit on his uh, V13 as well. He took a pretty bad spill on his V13 actually and the, um, the fairing kit protected the wheel well. He took a beating. I, hopefully he's healed up but I know he was uh, not in great shape. So we plan to avoid uh, that scenario today. I was hoping church would be done for the day so I could maybe use this parking lot for what I want to do but um, uh, it appears to, uh, they're still doing something. It's about two o'clock or so. I guess, I guess on uh, Sundays, church is like an all day thing here. So uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, I also have printed, 3D printed a set of power knobs or, or, or knockoff of power knobs, I guess. There's, there's a free model out there that I uh, have 3D printed the knobs. You can see a picture of them on the screen. My plan is to remove the front pads, maybe cut them in half or something, so I still have the brake pads back here, uh, but then just use the power knobs in the front and see how that works. That is my ultimate plan, uh, but I have not implemented it as of yet, but it's coming, it's coming. I think the power knobs might be nice for me because of the, leg, the length of my legs. When I lean forward, I have a tendency to hit the pads really early they feel very restrictive to me just because my legs are, are odd dimensions, I guess. So I think the power pad, since they're just down basically like where your, your leg meets your foot, uh, it might give me some more freedom of movement that I would enjoy potentially. So we'll see. The rain is definitely coming. You can feel it, you know, when, when, when there's extra moisture in the air, you can just feel it, at least down here. Not pretty much anywhere, I guess, in the summertime, but uh, yeah, it's definitely coming. I did get to play pickleball this morning, so I got that in, which is nice. And I played yesterday as well. But uh, this is not going to be great weather for riding uh, for much longer. So, yes, this is my experiment. I wanted to try to sit down on the V13, which I've never really done. Uh, I don't do seated riding typically because uh, I have limited flexibility in my knees and my hips aren't great either. Uh, but I was curious what I could do in the V13. The Clark pad system allows you to actually, okay, here's a little better. The Clark pad system allows you to be up a little bit higher. And in my backpack, I actually have a yoga block that I was gonna potentially put on the back there, but uh, let's see how it goes. I haven't ride, ridden seated in forever, so it kind of feels a little bit weird. It's nice to know I can still do it. Uh, but let's, uh, let's continue on. Interesting experiment. Look at me, mom, I'm riding seated. Yay for me, yay for me. I can tell you the Clark pad fairings are nice to kind of grab onto, both to break and to like pull your ass up forward. Cause like when I sit down initially, my ass is too far back so I can hardly uh, accelerate. Um, but I just grab on here and give it a yank. Um, I'm doing okay. Not bad, I don't know. 2025, not bad. Like the only wheel that I used to ride seated on a semi-regular basis was my original Monster. And ever since then, I uh, hardly ever, ever, ever do it or even bother to try. All right, I was able to transition up uh, without a big, big deal. And again, that grab handle in the front is handy for doing that, at least for me. So cool, I can ride the V13 seated. I have, like I said, I don't even think I need that yoga block. I mean, it'd be a little easier. I, I can feel tightness in my right knee down in that seated position, but um, yeah, I might be able to make this work. Cool. Yeah, I'm genuinely excited about this, man. I've been, I really haven't ridden seated for years, man. This, this makes uh, long distance riding significantly easier when you can do this. I'd imagine like the Master Pro, I could probably do this as well. I could ride seated somewhat comfortably, so 
Oh uh, yeah, it's nice to add this back to my bag of tricks. A bag of tricks. V and the V13 uh, feels comfortable in this position for me. More comfortable than I expected. So let's see what else is going on. In uh, less than two weeks, less than two weeks, I will be out in California. Hanging out there, doing stuff with uh, my buddies out there, Larry, Marty, Roger, Dawn. Uh, I'm sure there will be lots of fun to be had in my five days out there. Looking forward to it. Speaking of Dawn, don't forget to be, uh, consider being a member on Dawn's channel. Uh, could really help her out and uh, inexpensive and Dawn's working on doing more and more member only content. So yeah, if you, um, I'll have the link. I think I have the link in my descriptions now. If you want to become a member on her channel, um, it's easy to do so. All right, must be getting more comfortable because my speed is uh, up to 30 now, seated, feels okay. I'm able to handle these uh, gentle uh, turns that are in this path without a major problem. Uh, my biggest problem is there's a lot of no see and they keep uh, hitting me in the face. I might need to uh, drop the windscreen. The combo of seating uh, seated on a suspension wheel. Again, this is something new. Like I said, I, I did it a monster on a monster, which did not have suspension. So this is actually uh, surprisingly comfortable. It's getting windy and I feel cool air. So let's stand up. Yeah. Not a big deal. Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see the the uh, trees getting blown around by the wind that's coming in and it feels uh, quite ch uh, chilly compared to how the air was feeling about 10 minutes ago. So I'm going to head closer to the house, but I'm gonna keep riding. Lots of wind, lots of wind. Those of you that had not taken the time to watch the video on my channel where I go through the instructions on the, the wireless mic setup, that I installed in my LS2 helmet. You really need to take five minutes out of your life and watch that. Those instructions are so freaking funny. And uh, I went through it and just kind of illustrated the, uh, <laughs> it, it's just crazy. I mean, uh, there's multiple references to magic, um, wool, cocoa, and demons. All those words are in the instructions. But despite the terrible instructions, I actually was able to get that installed in my LS2. And it works and it sounds, it sounds decent. So that's, that's a plus. So I, I now have a uh, wireless communication system in my LS2 helmet. Really is nice for me to be able to have my hand up here on this front fairing. It allows me to shift my way forward to get some more speed. Yeah, like without this, it, this uh, seating would not be as uh, enjoyable for me. Having the, the, Clark, the Clark fairing system on here uh, definitely helps me. Riding in the wind does not, but it's okay. Okay, I was gonna ride this circle around this neighborhood seated, but um, I'm starting to feel my first raindrops. So I am now standing and accelerating to get back before I get soaked. So I'd rather not uh, get soaked if I don't have to. And like I said, this is the first time I've been out in the V13 in quite a while on a formal ride. You know, I've been messing with the master, my new master V4. Taking that out more, still always taking out the patent, but not the V13. So, yep, here comes the drops. All right, we are going to be back at the house in uh, 15 seconds or less. All right, back inside, it is uh, now raining outside. Just want to show you these power knobs. It's two pieces. Um, this, this um, I, I don't even know if I should call it a power knob, but it's like a power knob. Um, this is TPU. This is a PLA hard center. So it's, it's a two piece print. And then I will just mount it, I don't know, somewhere around there. That's my guess. And yes, the orange matches matches uh, everything else in the wheel. So that is what it'll look like. I, sh I should hopefully be able to get rid of this. Got my brake pad and just use the power knobs. That's the plan. So yeah, great little ride. That I'm, I'm legit excited that I can ride seated on the V13 uh, without a huge hassle. That is... That is cool. I don't even know why it popped into my head because I haven't really thought about CD riding for a long time because it's always just been uh, just very uncomfortable for me, uh, but I can do it on this wheel. So if you guys found this video interesting, please think about giving it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're gonna subscribe, you can hit the notify bell that's over there somewhere. Uh, feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts. Uh, what do you think about, do you ride seated? Do you like the Clark pad fairing system on the V13. Do you like the idea of knobs? The, 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 the basic idea is it, it 
gives you more freedom of movement with your knees without sacrificing the ability to still apply torque to accelerate with these. And I've, I've heard a lot of people report positively about it, like they, they like them, they, they, they really do like them. So hopefully I can join that crowd. Um, big thanks to my channel members. Uh, my channel members are listed right over there. Last time I checked, I had 23 channel members. Thank you for your support. Like I mentioned earlier, think about uh, throwing Dawn a, a membership as well. Uh, it would definitely help her out in her situation. Uh, and I'll have, we'll have the link to her channel membership in my description below. Um, I think that's all I have for now. It's Sunday afternoon. Weekend is almost over, um, but it was good to get out and ride just a little bit, a little bit. It was good. So that's all I have for now. Thanks for uh, hanging in there. Thanks for watching the video. Until next time, stuff me now. You may ask, can you charge the V13 with a Roger charger? Why, yes, you can. Roger Charger SC.